This is a story about a girl named Anna and her mother who are preparing for Christmas. However, things are not how they usually are. Friends, we all know that God can change situations and create something beautiful. Oh, look, the cookie did not come clean. Do you want to try it again? What's the point, Mom? It's not like we are giving it to somebody. It's the dullest Christmas ever. Don't say that. It's still Christmas, your favorite time of the year. I'm so done with this COVID situation. No friends, no shopping, no gifts, no cakes and no fun. Nothing that makes it my favorite anymore. Even the Santa is in lockdown. Hmm, that sounds a lot like Mary and Joseph on the day before the Christmas. You know what, with coming into a new city, new people, no friends and relatives. And what a long, tiring journey. They knew no people in Bethlehem and Joseph did not even make a hotel booking. So much like your dad. Plus, it was a busy time of the year. All hotels were booked. For Mary and Joseph, and especially for Mary when she was going to have a baby. If I had not been for a stable owner who let them stay, they would be on the streets. For real? Oh yes, but God has his own way of helping his people. He not only helps with the stable, he also sends the shepherds to celebrate the new baby. So Mary and Joseph could have a little party. Even now, in this situation, God is not done. Look, he has given us the gift of technology. You should know we have been attending school online all the year. But how does technology help me with the Christmas fun? There is not even nativity or carols. Hey, that's an idea. Why don't we gather all our cousins and friends at the Sunday school and have a nativity mashup? Oh, you're so brilliant to have this idea. You can even be the first carols ever. This is cool. What shall I do? How do we start? Let's start by sending invitation for the nativity mashup. We'll give them their roles and dialogues and tell them to come prepared and dressed. This is cool. Sending the invitations now. Long time ago, there lived in Bethlehem a young girl called Mary. Today, a special guest came to visit her. Hello to you. You are very special. God is with you. But Mary found it hard to understand why the angel had to come see her. She was just an ordinary woman. She worried what the angel meant by the greeting. Seeing that she was scared, the angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will give birth to a son. You will call him Jesus. He will be called the Son of the Most High. I don't understand. I'm not yet married. How can I have a son? The Holy Spirit will come and His power will give you a baby. People will call Him the Son of God. I am a servant of God. I believe this will happen as you have said. The angel departed, leaving Mary excited about the news of the baby. Now even Joseph was troubled about the news. Let's go and see what he is up to. I just heard about Mary's baby. What am I going to do? It's clear I can't marry her, but I really don't want to make a scene about it. I guess it would be best if I just broke off the engagement quietly in secret. No one needs to know about it. Oh God, please help me in this tough place and help Mary too. Usually, I like 
like it better if they are asleep when we visit with the message. It's easier on their nerves. But poor Joseph is already so nervous. But this time, I wonder. After all, I'm bringing him his own wedding card. But orders are orders. I must not wake him up and let him dream. Joseph, Joseph, hmm? who are you? I am a messenger from God. He sent me with a special message for you. God sent me a message? What is it? It's about Mary and what you're thinking about her. Don't be afraid and don't leave her. God wants you to marry her. Marry? But, but what about the baby she's going to have? The child is from the Holy Spirit. You shall name him Jesus because he saved his people from their sins. Oh, where did he go? Oh, it was a dream. But what a dream! The child from the Holy Spirit? And what was I thinking? Poor Mary, I must marry her and bring her home right away. His name will be Jesus. I must remember to tell her. So much to be done. This will be the quickest wedding ever. And Caesar, no wonder I have always best ideas. Here's my little son. I want you to count all the people in the country. All the people, sir. All. Alone in a new city. It's a stable, 
not the best for a baby, but it's good. The hair is perfect. We are really grateful. While shepherds watch their flocks by night, all seated on the ground. I hated to discourage, but must you sing while you write the song? Yeah, the sheep stop eating grass when you sing aloud. It's been all week like this with you. Which song will it be if the shepherds watch and the sheep stop eating? I don't know, but. But something about tonight just feels right. I just don't get creative people. What's that light? Is that a star falling from the sky? Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace and goodwill to men on earth. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace and goodwill to men on earth. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace and goodwill to men on earth. Glory to God in the highest heaven, peace and goodwill to men on earth. Glory to God. Did they say a savior is born in Bethlehem, lying in a manger? Someone said that, and then they all started singing. What is a savior doing in a manger? What else? Didn't you hear? Let's go to Bethlehem. We must. Has our savior finally come? We've been waiting for forever. Yes, it must be him. We must go. Then we can see ourselves what has happened. I want to see. But the Lord has told us. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We travel so far. Hills and fountains, moor and mountains, following yonder star. He always takes the longest line. He always takes the first one. Stop complaining. I think we should stop all together. I see the palace of King Herod. We are here. At last, we will find out where the bright star has led us. This place looks quiet. If there's a new king, shouldn't there be more? I don't know. Celebration? We should go and ask. Oh, great King Herod! We are three wise men. We have come from the far east land. We have come to greet the newborn king of this land. A king, newborn, here? We have seen a star in the sky and have followed all the way here. Is there really a new king? I must tell the wise men till I find out more about this matter. My dear wise men, you have done a wise thing indeed. You have a long journey ahead of you. Why don't you rest a while and refresh yourself? I will soon call you. Call my wise men. Very good, sir. You can't see. What is this I hear of? Is there a new king born here in my own land? Why didn't you tell me? Did you not know? Oh, king, don't be angry. Let us complete our book, and we will inform you. King, we have found that indeed there is a prophecy of a king to be born. Call the three wise men. 
We are here, O King. Where is the new king? Do tell us that we may worship him. I would also like to find and worship him. I ask that you continue on your journey and when you find him, come to me and tell me where he is and I too will go worship him. Very good King Herod, we will continue our journey. Hey, how stable? Shall we take this too? Why not? You checked five hundred really. Too late to stop now. Hey, is anyone here? Oh, look, look. Here they are. This is the one. What is this? Who are you all? Please, there's a baby here. The baby? Is it the one? Oh, it is. It is just as the angel of the Lord told us. Oh, it is so beautiful. The message of God is true. We have now seen with our own eyes. This is marvelous. Do you want to wake the baby up? He is sleeping so quietly. An angel told us that God sent his savior to us. The one who saves all the world. And that we will find him lying in a manger. Let us see. Oh, come, let us adore him. We must worship him. Once again, quietly. We must tell everyone. Come, let us go and tell everyone what the Lord has told us. The angels told us. He is lying in the manger. Also tell everyone you meet. Get the message. Praise God. Thought the journey has ended at the place, but here we are on a game. It's okay. I think we are near. It should be close now. We are in Nazareth. Is there a place here? So it is. What are you looking for? We are looking for a newborn king, and this is his star. We have followed it here. Oh, there's the baby. Who's it? Just introduce ourselves again. We are three wise men. We have come from the Far East land. We have come to greet the newborn king of this land. We have seen a star in the sky and have followed it all the way here. Now, may we see the baby, please? Because you are the king of king, I bring you the gold. Because you are the son of God, I bring you Frankie. This was all too beautiful for the humble Joseph and Mary to see God's promise unfold before their eyes. The Son of God among them. Truly, Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. So, you see Anna, it is never over till God says so. Mom, that was beautiful. What happened to the shepherds and wise men? Did they tell King Herod? Well, the shepherds did just as they decided. They told everyone about Jesus' birth. And the wise men never went back to Herod. An angel warned them and they took a different route. Got smarter than Herod. But you should ask about Mary and Joseph. Yes, what about them? Well, Joseph kept his promise and took care of Mary. And Mary, you know the Bible says she kept all things in her heart and pondered over them. And I think we should too. Always keep Jesus and his wonderful love in your heart and think on it often. His loves make everything more beautiful. It has been a difficult year and we have seen much suffering. But we also have seen much grace. God is with us no matter how hard it looks. We will always be. Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year.